In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how 3D and CS6 can now use a vanishing point grid to help place a 3D model in your photo. Let's begin by opening the vanishing point plugin. Let's go to filter, vanishing point. Here in the vanishing point plugin, I'm going to create a very simple grid. I'm going to create a grid of where I want my 3D object to land in my photo. This is where I want the 3D object to land. That's about right. Let's click OK. Now we're ready to load our 3D file. We'll go to the 3D menu, New 3D Layer from File. I have a nice gazebo file from our friends at Daz 3D. There you go. Photoshop CS6 used our vanishing point grid to place that object in our photo. And this is new for Photoshop CS6.